Good evening, I'm Chief Meteorologist Lainey Pope. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning that has just been issued for Guilford and Alamance counties. It's just east of Greensboro near Whitsitt and working its way east at 25 miles an hour. Now this severe thunderstorm warning is up until 9 o'clock. It includes Alamance and Guilford counties. And this severe thunderstorm not only may have damaging winds with it, but it is possible that this one has a tornado or funnel clouds. So if you do see anything like that, make sure that you report that and make sure that you're seeking safe shelter because we're really uncertain as to whether or not this is going to actually touch down. We have a severe thunderstorm warning out for it, not a tornado warning out for it. National Weather Service is concerned though that there may be some rotation and they actually are the ones that are asking that if we get confirmation of that to please let them know. It's between Greensboro and Burlington, the Sedalia community right along I-40 and I-85. And if you notice this one area right near Sedalia, I'm actually looking at rotation that is pretty high up in the storm and off and on this storm has seen at least brief areas of elevated rotation. Of course, it takes some wind to push that down to the ground. We haven't had that right now. We also don't have quite the instability that would create that environment, but it is still possible that it could happen. So we're going to watch this area as it moves along I-40 again right around Sedalia, Whitsitt. If you're in any of these communities here, Bethel Church Road, Wheeler Bridge Road, Huffman Mill Road, Garden Road, Elon University. Again, this is moving east at 25 miles an hour, and there is at least some circulation with it. We do not have a tornado. We have a severe thunderstorm warning for this storm, and you can see there's quite a bit of heavy rain with it. It hasn't had lightning with it, but all of a sudden we're starting to see some lightning developing. So that also is indicative of a storm that may be strengthening as it moves to the east. Alamance and Guilford County under a severe thunderstorm warning until nine o'clock as this first little line of storms pushes into our area. If you're in that region, we of course want you to seek safe shelter on the lowest floor. We're anticipating that these storms weaken as they move into our area. That's why we have the lower end of severe risk across the triad and the higher risk that is a little farther out to the west. The storms that we've been watching have done some damage down to the south with wind and hail between Charlotte and Columbia, and that was actually a storm that had a tornado warning out for it earlier tonight. Remember your safe place. If you are in Alamance and Guilford County in those communities I just showed, I definitely want you to seek safe shelter now. The best place is going to be in a basement or on the lowest floor of whatever building you are in. We we'll want to make sure that you're picking on that lowest floor, a closet, a bathroom, an interior your hallway away from corners, windows, doors. Make sure that you are protecting your head. If you know someone that is out traveling, if you happen to be out traveling, we want you to discourage that. But if you do get into that situation, you want to pull over to the nearest safe place. Remember to move to the lowest floor, choosing an interior room. Now we're going to continue to monitor this. Michelle Kennedy is here with me this evening. We're waiting for another wave of storms that could push in later on tonight and impact our mountain communities. The time frame for that looks to be from about nine o'clock, potentially until midnight. And then those storms may move into the foothills and triad overnight. So we've been in touch with Brian Slocum all day too, is just uh, texting with him a few minutes ago. We have you covered here at WXII 12 News. We will give you first warning of any weather that is moving into the area. If you are away from the television set, make sure you can get your alerts through a NOAA weather radio. We also have them on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and we also have the WXII 12 news app and you want to go ahead and put that on your mobile device and you are able to get those warnings sent straight to you. Again, we just wanted to interrupt because this is a serious situation. This could potentially produce a tornado right now, a severe thunderstorm though for eastern Guilford and Alamance counties. If we do get a tornado warning, we will come back on with more information and of course continue to track this storm for you. It's between Sedalia and Whitsitt and now moving along I-40 into Alamance County.